Jamie Newman, the junior quarterback, leading the ACC in total yards per game. Passing efficiency, we mentioned all the touchdown passes. He's thrown at least one touchdown pass in every game he has started in his career. And I think one of the things that sticks out in, in terms of his game is that he throws a catchable ball. When you have big receivers on the outside, you want to give them a chance to make a play on it. He's excellent at doing that. So first down and 15. There's that walk-up. He's going to throw it, though, and it's going to be incomplete. Intended. Forced. And they're going to go quickly. Newman to throw. Off the hand, incomplete. Third and long defense. They don't want to be living in that. They, they want to be able to, to be in a situation where they're, they're, they're playing tempo. Hinton will bust free after the catch. Kendall Hinton. Distribution was able to find Hinton. Quarterback will step up across the 40 all day. Out of the shotgun this time, yet another look. He'll roll right. Got hit as he threw the football out of bounds. It's really worked tremendously well. The most prolific offensive years in Wake Forest history. And this season, 177 yards, so he's coming in hot. Going to throw immediately here on first down, and a little behind the receiver, but complete. Body to shield the defender. Nice pickup. A 6'3", about 215 pounds. Com Able to throw and free. And Wake Forest pouncing. Play there. Hillman back to throw. Stepping up, fires an incomplete. Get into the rhythm of your offense. This is Wake Forest's largest deficit they have faced this season, believe it or not. Hillman, time to throw. Airs it out here to Hinton. Trying for the sideline. He's taken down. Struggling, coming off a bye week again. Over to fire and a short pass complete there on the 35 yard line. Now they're in the rhythm and tempo of their offense. Still looking to go as quick as they can. Complete to Washington, another fumble. The football, I think he has possession and it's punched out. Across the 50, and 10. Dillman looking longer this time, he's going to fire incomplete. 54% they've converted this year. The quarterback to keep Newman. You have a 230-pound quarterback running a leap play. Wants to throw, heading for the end zone. Overthrown. See Surratt, you know, he's on top of him. Jamie Newman just overthrows him a little bit. Looked like Surratt slowed down. Obviously, the holding penalty wouldn't have mattered, but you can see the ability of Surratt. To Second down, 19. Has time to throw. And out of bounds. Third and 19 for Newman. Time in the pocket. Looks to the middle. And caught. Complete by yards. Pitches this one. Brinthal. That's the tight end. It's the first quarter. Newman to throw again. Wants the end zone. That one is caught. A touchdown, Sage Surratt. It was an awful lot to handle. 25 plays to give you a sense of how fast Wake is going. Over the throw and incomplete. A third down and 12. And we're looking down, failed, and they're all over him. And down he goes. And a foot in the Cardinals. We'll see if the Demon Deacons have an answer as the number 19 team in the country off the fingertips and that's going to be incomplete sir call as he gets hit in the head and it's another drop for wake forest monty montgomery there staggering Newman back to throw time to unleash on a flag down incomplete flag drop that slow developing play doesn't get run down from behind first and ten he's going to throw long and that one's dropped and a flag on the play. And fired in the end zone and a touchdown. The strike to Surratt. When you look at what they do, is they're going to fake this run. And look at the impact that it has on these linebacker level players. And Surratt just going to use that big body to get inside. There's that run fake. The impact on the, on the linebacker. Diving ahead, he takes a pretty good lick. 
and did not get in. Guys, Jamie Newman was just taken to the locker room moments ago for an x-ray of his shoulder. Sophomore Sam Hartman was on the phone with the offensive coordinator. He's got his helmet on, getting prepared to go in and take over. All right, Katie, thank you very much for the update on this play when he took a lick. So, well, it's a tough kid right here, Jamie Newman, the junior, the quarterback, coming back onto the field after getting some treatment. And a great reaction from his team when he got there. I'm sure a pretty good reaction from Dave Clawson as well. Just isn't structured to work that way. Yeah, they had been flagged only 16 times in five games. Quick hit for Hinton. On a complete... But Bill Smith winding that one back. First and ten. Newman to fire. And complete the Demon Deacons. Newman again will throw a short this time. The fake to Bill Smith. He will throw and complete. Got to get somebody down over Hinton. Bill Smith picking up the first time running short here. Going for the end zone, but incomplete. He wanted once. They have been going after Jones. That's clearly the matchup. And, you know, Washington just picks that one up late. If he sees it sooner, I think he comes down. Newman back from injury and now back to pass for the end zone. And intercepted. Picked off by the Cardinals and by Abdullah. And it's the right read by Jamie Newman. It's the wrong throw. You end up having two high safeties. And so what they want to do is run the tight end down the middle. But he just doesn't deal with the underneath coverage properly by changing the trajectory of the throw. The middle of the field's where they want to go. He has his tight end open. He just doesn't get it up and down enough. The throw to Frunthal is just too flat. And that's why Abdullah is able to go up and make a play on the football. Been the big difference in the game, as Dave Clawson noted. On first and ten. Newman back, watch the throw long. Throwing deep and off the hands of Surratt. Give it again. And he's going to be sacked. Brought down by the move here with 10.20 to go in the third. And a quick dish. He gets it to Surratt. His first... They've been such a good running team this season. He's going to throw, and now we're down the right side. Caught by Surratt, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. They come up with a big play. They do, and they keep going back to Surratt. This time it's on Johnson. And the thing that's been amazing, Dave, is we talk about Surratt being this big fan. They get back in the game, but now they're in a real danger zone. First and ten to throw it. It's Surratt. Kind of muscle ahead. Wake trying to climb back and get another score here. They'll throw a short pass and incomplete intended for pulling them up and giving them opportunities down the field. Newman looking to lead him upfield here. And incomplete off the hand of Hinton. Oh, almost like a pick play. Quarterback keeping that burns out. Bill Smith is in at running back. Newman to go airborne. Time to throw. And it's popped up and it's intercepted. Intercepted again by Louisville. Picked in. He breaks inside. Jamie Newman decides to stick with Hinton. When he does, he's got defenders there. Ball's tipped in the air. Burns there for the pick. Big break for Louisville's defense. And the fourth quarter coming. Wake in need of a little bit of magic here. Newman to throw. Tip. Quarterback to fire, good protection there, and broken up. Incomplete, the mother. Yeah. Beckton 6'7", 370. I mean, he ought to have a concierge and a bell stand. He's a he's a hotel. <laughs> Firing to Hinton, he pays a price there. About 370, maybe now. Down to 370, Which yeah. maybe he means he was he was over it at one point. But a tremendous athlete. You know, the low 20% body fat. On a guy that size, which is remarkable, he's got a big-time NFL future. He sure does. They're excited to be able to coach him. Complete to Surratt, but he can't get free. it has been involved in close games. They don't mind being in them, but they're trying to get into one right now. Newman getting to the 30-yard line. Bot, the freshman, way very, very high on him. Quarterback will keep Van Newman. Takes a shot. He was out, but Louisville brought a corner on that play, which is 
why Newman ended up the ball carrier. Newman looking to throw, nobody open. Now he fires, and a low pass. Came in the first half after taking a pretty vicious hit. And then walk-up style, the quarterback will keep it. That coach team, and, you know, I just don't know that, you know, they responded to the, to the bye week, and that's Jamie Newman with his shoulder pads off and a, getting wrapped up on his shoulder there. There's also Sam Hartman behind him on the phone. Who has played a little bit tonight, very little. But Newman took a crunching hit earlier in the game, had to step out for a while, Hartman came in.